For those living in areas with significant snowfall, a reliable snowplow is an essential weapon in the winter arsenal. But a basic snow blade is just one piece of the puzzle. For optimal performance and protection of your equipment and surfaces, snowplow float features are crucial. Snowplow float refers to the ability of the plow blade or pusher to adjust its vertical position in relationship to the ground surface. This adaptability is achieved through various design elements that allow the plow to float over uneven surfaces following the contours of the pavement or driveway. Here is why incorporating snowplow float features into your winter equipment setup is a wise decision. Uneven surfaces, hidden obstacles, and uneven pavement cracks can put stress on your plow cutting edge, blade, and mounting system of your vehicle. A plow without proper float can dig in causing the cutting edge to scrape or snag, potentially leading to damage to the plow itself, your vehicle's undercarriage, or the surface you're plowing. Effective snow removal requires the plow edge to maintain consistent contact with the ground. Without proper float, the blade can bounce or skip over high spots, leaving behind unplowed patches. A properly floating plow closely follows the ground contours, ensuring a clean and efficient plowing job. The constant scraping and digging caused by a non-floating plow increases wear and tear on the plow and mounting hardware. Float features minimize this wear, extending the lifespan of your equipment. Aggressive scraping by a non-floating plow can damage asphalt, concrete, or paver surfaces. A plow that continually digs in can become difficult to control, especially when making turns or navigating tight spaces. Float features enhance maneuverability allowing for more precise plowing and better control of your vehicle. Now that we understand the importance of snowplow float, let's delve into the different mechanisms that achieve this functionality. Let's start with skid shoes. These are skid plates made of wear-resistant materials like polyurethane, steel, or UHMW plastic, mounted on the underside of the plow attachment. As the plow encounters unevenness, these skids make contact with the ground first, absorbing impact and allowing the main plow blade to float at a consistent height. A floating skid is generally on the bottom of side panels of a snow pusher and one that travels vertically separately from the blade or the rest of the containment box. On to cutting edges. The design of the cutting edge itself can also influence float. Trip or sacrificial cutting edges are designed to break away upon impact with a solid obstacle, protecting the plow blade and vehicle. These breakaway edges also allow the plow to give slightly when encountering uneven surfaces, promoting a more controlled float. Some cutting edges known as sectional, live, or flex edges even offer vertical float within different sections of the edge. This accommodates slight variations in the height and sometimes angles of the surface being plowed. Cage offers its advantage sectional cutting edge with either hardock steel or carbide sections. As for mold boards and boxes, Snowplow moldboards are the curved or angled panels of the blade that direct the flow of the plowed snow. The box is the containment system on snow pushers, usually in the form of vertical side panels on the ends of and perpendicular to the blade. These components can be designed with built-in float mechanisms. For instance, another area where moldboard float can take place is when the plow tips side to side like a teeter-totter. This is called oscillation, and it allows it to accommodate side slopes in the plowing surface, as well as angle plowing. Box float comes in the form of either self-adjusting wear shoes or skids on the bottom edge of the side panels that act as skid plates, or removable side panels with built-in slop or float. When it comes to quick attaches, some plows incorporate sliding mechanisms into the attachment system often in the form of slots that allow the plow blade or loader arms to move vertically within a limited range, they enable float over uneven terrain. Cage plows offer every form of float mentioned here, with specific ones applied to match the intent of the plow and the equipment it's attached to. Thank you for watching.